Do you break into a sweat with even the thought of having company? I'm here to help. After trying just a few of my hosting tips, you'll be more than ready to say, come on over. Hello. Today, we're going to talk about hosting gifts for her. Now, in an earlier episode, we talked about hosting gifts for him, and so now it's her turn. So, one of the things I'd like you to consider, men, children, friends, when you're buying gifts for her, is thinking about what kind of sets you could complete for her. For instance, if a husband or child or friend or dog or someone other than the hostess has broken or lost or damaged a set of something, that would be a great and insightful gift to give. For example, in our house, we have Cutco knives. Now, Cutco knives are, in my opinion, the best knife you can own. They are not cheap. You buy them in sets, a smaller set, a giant set, and other pieces in between. And if someone, say a husband, loses a knife, it's a little bit catastrophic and it's because they come in a set. So if you're gonna have eight people over for steak and you have seven knives, it's awkward. Awkward. <laughs> now the other part of this little sad story is that these knives are like $40 a piece to replace. So that would be a nice gift to complete the set. A very nice gift. Another idea might be glassware that's specific to dressing up the table and serving. These are the most adorable little wine carafes. They're a single serving. A single serving of wine is between four and six ounces. And that's what these hold. Well, I mean, they of course hold four, but they also hold six ounces. And so what you do is you pour the wine into the carafe and you set it down on the table and then the guest can pour the wine themselves into their glass. So fun. So this would be a great set. They come in sets of four. They're so fun and I have used them in other table settings in other episodes, so check that out. Another idea would be a cocktail glass that you use a lot. This is a hard rock glass, not hard rock cafe, but a glass that's heavy and a rock glass that you can just put the ice in. It won't break. It's not a fine crystal. It is what I like to say, out of print. This is a Ralph Lauren Glen Plaid glass, rock glass. They come in sets of four and we broke one. And by we, I mean, not me. Someone broke one and we thought, oh, we'll just get another one and complete the set. But they're out of print. So we had to start searching for them online with eBay or replacements.com. $40 a glass. And let me tell you, I did not pay that for this set, but since they're out of print, this is more expensive and it's a great way to complete a set. Or maybe you're just looking to help them start a set. This is a really cool tilted cocktail glass. It's a martini glass really. And it's the crackle pattern from Pier One. I just liked it because I have the Pier One crackle dishes that I use in December, January, February, and I thought it would be fun to attach to that dish set, you know, another crackle item. You can imagine what happened. One of them got broken. That actually might've been me, don't know. But I went to replace it and these are hard to find, but I did find them on eBay or replacements.com and I thought this would be a great gift idea to give Jimmy to say you could complete the set with this. So, or you could start a set of something cool like this. You could look around the cabinets, the glassware, the storage areas when you're in their home and see if there's something they're missing, if they need something to complete their collection of serving pieces and say, hmm, I wonder if they might like something funky cool like this and you can get them started on a collection. That would be fun. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. Another idea is to buy a complete set of something as simple as parfait glasses. And 
If your friend or your relative loves to host and loves to make dessert items, this is a very affordable and fun thing to give them. It's a set of 25. Well, that's a lot of parfait glasses, but that's what it came in. And they're small. Oh, and it looks like it came with a little spoon. And so this is a, a little hint like, hey, maybe you'd like to serve us some parfait in the future. Green, green, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. And it also stores really nicely into the cabinet. So you could start them on something like that, a dessert item. Another idea is something super specialty. I told my little brother one time that I wanted grapefruit bowls as a gift. And so he actually found bowls that are grapefruits. Here's the skin, here are the slices in between, and I have cherished these bowls for years. They're so fun, and I have put grapefruit in them, which is a great conversation piece when you have morning guests, but I've also served other items in here, and they're just so cheerful and beautiful, and it's a very fun gift to give. Another idea might be some sort of plant or flower holder, but that is a little out of the norm. That's not normal. So a friend gave me these, these because he knows I collect birds. So these are, you could put a plant in them. I had a plant in this. I just recently had cut flowers in this. It is not a very big vase, it's such a little tiny one, so it's great for tiny flowers. And you could put a tiny fern, a succulent in here and set it out. It'd be great for a guest room, it'd be great for the guest bath, or just anywhere around your home and around their home, more importantly. And then when you visit, you can say, oh, I see you put a plant in that, it's so lovely. So these come in collections and you can start your own collection, it may not, look so realistic, but just something that's a little out of the ordinary. People love that. Another idea to give a female host would be a fun apron. I love this apron. It's toile. What did you just say? And it's French toile, and that's important because my friend Betsy, who also loves to cook, went with me to Paris, and we loved everything Paris, and of course Paris is all about food and pleasure. Oh, je comprends tout. What, what did you just say? I don't know. And when we came back, she got as a gift for my birthday, this French toile apron. And I have loved this apron just for years. And I wear it when guests come over and they comment on it. And it's just beautiful. Now, it's good to coordinate your outfit. Like, eh, this isn't gonna work. You look ridiculous. But it is so feminine and so pretty. And there are a vast, variety of aprons you can get a host. You can get just a half apron. You can get one that covers more of the top, which frankly I need because I'm a big spiller. Or you can get a more traditional. You can get chefs. You can get a funny saying. You can get something vintage. If you like to shop and go to antique stores, you can often find beautiful vintage aprons. It's a kind of a personal gift and I think it's always welcomed. If you sew, you could make an apron. You could have it monogrammed. It's just a very thoughtful gift. My last idea, and this is a very specific idea, is a mortar and pestle. I asked for this for Christmas for years and nobody would buy it. And finally, my daughter bought it. If you cook a lot and you like to chop up your own spices and muddle them, for recipes and you like them to be fresh, you want a mortar and pestle. This is what they use in the pharmacy field. So you put your spices down in there and it's pretty heavy, it's stone. And you grind them up in here and they're fresher than they would be when you buy them. And it's just fun even. It can just be a conversation piece on the counter, but it's also great for hosts who love to cook. Now these are just some of my ideas. Perhaps you have better ones to share them down below. But remember, when you're going to someone's house and they're making you feel special, it's always a great idea to reciprocate and find a way to make them feel special too. I'll see you next time. Did you hear the clicking talk? Clicking talk. Did you hear the clicking talk? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Ooh. What happened to my voice? <laughs> it's like I opened my mouth and a frog jumped out. Um, just any sort of storage. Let me try that again. I sound.
sounded like some sort of space alien. It's great to just get it right back at them. Make them feel special today. Get right back at them. Yeah, I, awesome. yeah that's... <laughs> get in their face, man, with an apron. Because when you come to someone's home and they're making you feel special, it's a great idea. I almost said it again. I almost said the exact same thing again. And they're making you feel special by having you as a guest. It's always a great idea <laughs> to wrap this up. That would be the best idea. Come on over. Now go make someone feel special today.